Hello students, we have discussed the terms that are or that are very much in the background to the study of literary forms and we have gone through some of the literary say terms and concepts that are relevant for the purposes. We have seen, yes, this will do the job of of getting us somewhat some training and this will help us to improve our understanding of our English subject. In the context we had to discuss about the concepts and the terms that are very much important and for this purpose I would say that you as a student of English needs to study glossary by M.H. Abrams as a Bible. It is English people's Bible. Means our students need to think that we have to do the Parayan. Okay. Continuous reading. So that we have to memorize this book and each and every member should have this book at their own personal library. So in our discussion we have to study today is dramatic monologue. Monologue, there are two terms we will find here dramatic and monologue. Dramatic, it hints at type of some for some kind of a dramatic drama. There is two persons, more than two persons involved in the dramatic monologue. It's a kind of exchange, but continuous exchange from one side. Mono. Mono stands for one. One is the speaker and the other one is a silent listener. So, like this, and monologue is a continuous, a single person speaking. Okay, It stands for monologue. So, a monologue is a lengthy speech by a single person. Whatever the character utters, a monologue that expresses his or her private thoughts. It may be called in drama as a soliloquy, but it is a different, uh, say, term altogether. But dramatic monologue does not designate a component in a play, but a type of a lyric poem that was perfected by Robert Browning. In its fullest form, as represented in the Browning's My Last Duchess, the Bishop Odyssey's Tomb, Andrew Del Sarto, and many other poems, dramatic monologue has certain kind of features, and these features are, are these conditions that should be met. And these conditions are, there should be a single speaker who is patently or clearly not the poet. The single person utters the speech that that speech makes a whole poem. Jeva dramatic monologue madhe ek vikti bolna rasto to je bolto te bolna tacho hit sampurna ek kavita banta. The poem a specific asha situation var nirman zhalele asthe ki wa tya vishayacha मुद्दा जो असतो तो एकदम क्रिटिकल मोमेंट मध्ये असतो सपोज असे काही आपण जर ड्रामॅटिक मोनोलॉग बघितलं सपोज ड्यूक ड्यूक इज निगोशिएटिंग विथ एन एमेजरी फॉर अ सेकंड वाइफ एंड द बिशॉप लाइज डाइंग एंड्रिया वंस मोर अटेम्प्ट्स टू विसफुल टू बिलीव हिज वाइफ्स lies this person interacts with other one or more people and we come to know there is another person auditor listener is present there we come to know from the speaker's monologue so like this moon the main principle of this controlling the poet's voice and formulation of what the lyric speaker says is revealed to the reader 
and it enhances the reader's interest the speaker's temperament and character so monologue such as soliloquy of the spanish cloister caliban upon setbos browning here on its second feature and the presence of a silent auditor but the features 1 and 3 are a almost necessary conditions that should be met in the dramatic monologue the third feature the focus of revelation serves to distinguish the dramatic monologue from its near relation the dramatic lyric which is also a monologue uttered in identifiable situation at a dramatic moment johnson's canonization flee are dramatic lyrics that lack only one feature of a dramatic monologue and the focus of interest is primarily on the speaker's elaborate ingenious argument rather than the character that reveals the course of arguing as we have seen there is a silent auditor in robert browning's to my last touches there is a silent auditor and another such conditions that we see here is that of a, in a specific situation we come to know we have to identify uh, the speaker with the poet himself because the organizing principle of uh, this is that of a focus of interest and the evolution of the observation memories and thoughts toward the resolution of an emotional problem because such poem ends in this way another feature that we find tennyson wrote ulysses and other dramatic monologues that form uh, has been used by hd hilda do little i mean lowell robert frost e a robinson ezra pound robert lowell and many other 20th century poets but the best known modern example we see of a dramatic monologue is t s eliot's the love song of J. alfred prufrock is a kind of a dramatic monologue and that we find here in this particular term so like this we have seen the features of the dramatic monologue and these features will help us to identify the the features as well as the quality there are other features that that helps us in understanding the dramatic monologue and this as uh, we have discussed about this features are uh, can be expounded in more detail if we study the poem that is to my last touches by robert browning see my last touches is a poem it's a bronze structure neptune taming the sea horse such a kind of hint is provided in the poem in my last touches italian duke who was stern and severe egoist shows his picture gallery to the envoy of a count whose daughter is supposed to get married with the duke duke is talk with the visitor showing his late wife's Oh, uh, picture! Reveals both his character and that of his wife's. Unable to uh, tolerate the innocent gaiety and graciousness of the Duchess, he gave commands, and that is what all the smiles stop together. So this taming of uh, sculpture of Neptune is like a taming his own wife. 
controlling his wife. The characteristic symbolism and subtle irony, the complex nature of the poem, which uses decasyllabic couplet, and thus also one of the feature of the dramatic monologue. Dramatic monologue reflecting all its elements, the speaker, his audience, and interplay between them, dramatic occasions and present actions, and above all, the revelation of the speaker's character makes make uh, this uh, poem as dramatic monologue. While the character of the Duke speaks, he comments on the situation and reveals his own personality as well. The poet does not intrude at any point to interpose uh, uh, his own opinion, but gives the character a platform and lets him speak for himself. So, this is a very famous and often quoted poem for an instance of the dramatic monologue. It's, it uses all these features that we see in, uh, in the allegorical sense in um, references to or allusions to some of the myths and mythological features to, uh, to increase the power of this poetic lines. And that, uh, that makes this poem as a beautiful one we have certain references to um, the picture, the painter, Fra Pandolf, in, uh, in the poem My Last Duchess. The Duke intends to discuss his marriage. He doesn't forget to mention the count, uh, Count's munificence. He also discusses about that. But... All these things are going to reveal his own personality and that we see in this particular poem. So like this we have this particular term that is uh, dramatic monologue. As an example we have to study one of the finest poems by Robert Browning who is famous as the dramatic monologue writer. Thank you.